It's Bob and Tom Tonight, starring Chick McGee, Christy Lee, Josh Arnold, Ace Cosby, Pat Godwin, Willie Griswold, and Tom Griswold. This is Tom speaking. Willie G, just getting off stage in Chicago at the Laugh Factory. Hanging out in Chicago, partying. Yeah, apparently. What's going on with him? <laughs> Uh, before we move on, got a very unusual request. This goes way back. But first, Christy, you had a news story a couple days ago about, um, sh let's see, what is it? Um, uh, Colorado is auctioning off only a handful of uh, cannabis-related... I believe 17 of them. ...license plates? Uh-huh, and it goes to a good cause. It does go to a charity, the Colorado Disability Funding Committee. The license plate right now with the most bids is, is it for 20 Bids will commence until 4.20 p.m. Colorado time on 4.20. So if you want to get involved in this, if you're li listening in Colorado. Hmm. Some of the other uh, plates up for bids include Bong, Ganja, Got Wax, Green, Happy, Hash, Hemp, Herb, Herb. <laughs> yeah, do you go with do you go with think, herb or herb? You know what? If you got herb, wouldn't people just think that's your name? Man, I like the word herb. I do too. Used in I I say it all the time at home. You put any herbs in your <laughs> oh, okay. in, yeah, in, I, in the marinade? Yeah. I do not pronounce the H. Yep. Yeah, yeah well, my herb. father's real name was Herbert. Oh, no kidding. And, oh yes, and he hated oh. it. Oh really? Yeah. So one of my friends would <laughs> always go, "Hi, Herb." <laughs> he, he thought that was real. No, I, I, there. I think it's yes. I think it's great and very nice that you had such a respectful relationship <laughs> with your parents. That's that's so. I think it's so rare. I mean, in my it's life, certainly very it was rare. rare. Hey, but yeah, he hated the name Herb. <laughs> Every once in a while, my mother would say something. It's not reality, Herbert of Bruce. Did he see uh, the the full name? And she, no, thanks. Her, but you know how oh. it, that that pause and that kind of sarcastic. Uh -huh. How did they? Yep. How did they punish you? Like you stayed out late, or did you get grounded? They smelled pot in the room, or whatever they did. Uh, you never did. You that never else? got in trouble ever. <laughs> yeah, not really. <laughs> I think really? they just let. Th 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 there was like kind of a loose leash on me. Yeah, you were the last one by then. Maybe. Yeah, that's <laughs> the thing. You know, when you're the fourth oh. kid by then, who needs diapers? Just <laughs> dunk them in the toilet once a week. That is funny. Uh, no. You never had to stand in the corner. That was a big one. Oh, yeah. house. Really? I the, do, time, the time out. Uh, the only thing I really remember was uh, getting whacked. One time in the in the bum by my mom, and I all I remember was I was wearing uh, what were called wide whale corduroys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I don't know why I remember this. They were they were blue, and I don't think I've ever worn corduroys <laughs> since. And I to this day hate corduroy pants. So. Tom's the only guy I know that's my friend that his shot that sounds like an episode of The Crown. <laughs> <laughs> well, there I was out uh, hunting foxes in my wide whales, and and my hunter boots. <laughs> And, uh, and uh, well, I was swatted on the bum. Well, my <laughs> Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. I think it's that time, don't you? Time for what? Oh, you know what I'm talking about. No. Oh, yeah. The lights dim. Your prospects are looking good. It can mean but one thing. It's Friday night, baby, and it's just get on with it. <laughs> it's time for <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Who's that sexy man with the deep voice? Ace Cosby. Here he is with his joke of the day. The other day, I went online and uh, bought a uh, sail for my new boat. Yeah. And I realized it wouldn't fit, so I called to cancel it. Oh. And the operator said, "Sorry, that sail is shipped." That was Ace Cosby. Joke of the day. Uh, uh, shit. I, d I, I, I don't understand it, and I'm not laughing. I don't think it would help if I that's, did understand that is it. It's genuinely idiotic. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, but who wouldn't want to go sailing, huh? Oh, it's, always, it's always fun. Well, you have, yeah, uh, it takes me away. Yes, sure does. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, that's Calgon, but okay. So that song originally that. that, 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 that the Christopher Cross song. Originally, it was called Bowling. Really? Yes. <laughs> I had no idea. Oh, yeah. yeah. Then someone suggested, you know, maybe, I don't know, maybe maybe sailing could be a little more romantic. Not that bowling isn't great. Come on, kid, do it. Oh, he did it! He got the 7-10, Randy! Oh, he did it! Woo! My goodness, the ginger is 
assassin. The ginger assassin, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, getting the seven ten split. Uh, that may be our. I'm pretty excited. That may be our. That may be our highlight of the week coming up. I, <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, we well, we've have highlighted it enough. I think it. <laughs> Uh, now, um, Josh, I understand that you have been working on something over there. Um, I oh. can see you've got your uh, paper and your pencil. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Pat, were you in the break room with me? Just I was. No, no. I now know. <laughs> I am now experiencing what Pat goes through. Yeah, that's day. why I'm laughing. Get your pencil in there. You bring it out. I'm one, 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 while to, you prepare that. I'm going to try to trip you up, and then I'm going to make fun of you about it. Okay, here we go. <laughs> no, no. I, no I, in my defense, yeah, we. what it just happened in the green room. What happened? Look, we had a story. I'll just get to it. We had a story um, about Jaleel White, the actor, of course, the star of... Uh, a TV uh, show. Family Matters. Right. Yeah, the oh. long-running uh, show Family Matters. He's he, so good. He played nerdy neighbor Steve Urkel. Well, mm -hmm. he's launching his own line of marijuana called It's Purple, mm -hmm. based on an already existing strain known as Purple Urkel. Yeah, this is a legit news story. Exactly, yes. And well, he, And he's the guy that was the super goofy-looking kid that... Sure, just he, a real nerd. Even as he aged, they, they, they still had him dress... That way, and yes, yeah. okay. we all know who are. Well, I did some digging, <laughs> and um, I found a list of other former child stars who've recently joined the cannabis industry. Oh, oh really? cool! Yes, yeah. Mm. Neil Patrick Harris, yeah. who of course played a medical pro medical uh, prodigy at the age of sixteen, he's developed a brand of pre-rolled joints. He calls Doobie Hauser. <laughs> yes. I didn't know. Jerry Mathers and Tony Dow have teamed up to sell their own marijuana cigarettes named Leave It to Reefer. <laughs> and Josh. Sheriff Andy sure would be disappointed if he knew about Ron Howard's personal blend. Dopey Taylor. <laughs> Take that get better. You're playing to the crowd. <laughs> they get better. Too. And now just a brief moment. Oh. Let's kill all my momentum. And are you the deputy? Feel my oh, I'm sorry. There was momentum? Yes. Yeah, I thought that down. one died. Oh. The lead actress in Lizzie McGuire has her own line of ball, bowls, bongs, and one hitters. Yeah. Called Hillary Puff. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. While eighties eighties sitcom star Soleil Moon Fry is pushing her own potent strain of weed, mm. Skunky Brewster. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> Shirley Temple's estate has authorized a line of weed aptly named Shirley Temple. It contains no THC, so you'll never get high, no matter how. It's a, it's a Shirley Temple, you see. Oh, I get it, yeah, sure. Oh, come on, get the break. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah, like so a it's like, Temple it's drink. like Ace's joke. <laughs> it's a thinker. <laughs> or, or a stinker, whichever you <laughs> Daniel Radcliffe, oh, uh, that Quidditch-playing Voldemort-battling oh, yeah. whiz kid. He's conjured up his own line of weed. He calls Harry Pot. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's my favorite one so far. I like it. All right. These last three are where I actually put some work in. Okay. <laughs> Haley Joel Osment, mm -hmm. who sees dead people, is selling seedless marijuana known as the Sixth Sensamia. Oh. Oh. Yeah. That's, that sounds kind of scientific that, and that really almost valid. Sensamia is seedless. Sure. Uh -huh. Oh, it sure. is. I didn't know that. <laughs> Frankie Muniz has his own brand of relaxing therapeutic pot called Malcolm Indica Middle. Oh. Indica. No, I mean, really, again, yeah. we're going with the really literal. Do you remember me in the green room saying, I want Willie on the phone yes. when I do that's this? Yes, oh, I that's do what remember. you meant? Yes. yes. Oh, that's what you meant. Yes, we that's had a exactly what you said. We had a plan. When I do that, when I do yeah. this, man. Have Willie on the phone. That's, yes. what, that's what Josh He's said. Yeah. He said it right to his face. I thought he said you you want didn't want to have Willie around. No, no. so you wouldn't conflict with your new piece. Once again, you don't Not listen. I was Not busy doing something. You were busy doing what? You <laughs> I missed. I was busy <laughs> missing the wastebasket from three listen. feet away was, with yeah. the. You don't listen. And finally. <laughs> And you don't care. I think this is going well, Josh. And I, uh, well, you're the one. In I think, honor I think of oh, Harry, I think it's gone Harry Pot, very funny. <laughs> Harry Pot. <laughs> I, it did make me laugh out loud. In yeah. honor of the late Gary Coleman, star oh of Different Strokes. Oh my God! A new brand of marijuana has recently hit dispensary shelves called 
What you talking about, Willis? <laughs> oh, 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 come oh, on. That's funny. <laughs> that one I got. <laughs> Icy. Said ace. That is Ooh. nice. And what you talking about, Willis? That's very, very nice. I, <laughs> yeah, thanks for that, Tom. It really uh, drove it home. Another, look at this. Look at these, these little spit, little juice, little English, if you will. I could have. <laughs> Did, oh, oh wait, wait a minute. Are, are we getting the ones that you rejected? No, no, no. You got the ones I rejected. Oh, wait. <laughs> and I'm looking back now going, I probably could have done four of these. And... <laughs> uh, they're great. Uh, that was really nice. I have no doubt that you looked at him oh. and you said, when I do this I bit, Tom, there. Can we have Willie on the phone? That's no, I thought you said, no, he said, yes. is Willie yes. calling? Well, do you know what time Willie's calling? It doesn't matter calling? what you thought he said. No, you said, do you know what time Willie's calling? And I said, no. And then you said, because I've got this bit. Yeah. And then as I was exiting, I said, now are you ready to do this bit? And you didn't, and then you ran off. He went, yeah, and you left. <laughs> I thought you didn't want it to conflict with Willie calling. I say when he calls, we try it again. Um, okay. I Ready? don't know why not. <laughs> now, in my defense, also... One, There's one, no defense. One, <laughs> just, just own Wait, it. Wait, should I leave out? I'll leave out... Um, I'm sorry, in, I wasn't Indica. paying attention. Try no, that. I'll do that one. Oh, because Willie would get it, yeah. Oh. Okay. Do you know the guy from the Dukes of Hazard? Is that right? Yeah, he's coming out with his... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I, his, his, I, do you remember the show, The Dukes of Hands? Sure, yeah. yeah. The, 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 no, uh, can you walk me the, through The sidekick guy is going to have his own line of oh. uh, marijuana. Mm -hmm. Who's that? Uh, Tom Wolpot. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't a sidekick. He was one of the dudes. He was yeah. a dude. I never watched that show. <laughs> I, I, I did stupid things like read books. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Thanks for... <laughs> what? <laughs> Christy, look over there. <laughs> a special treat. I, I am so guy. excited. We have uh, a very, a very that is special, very very, a very special treat coming up momentarily. But first, uh, let's just do a real I quick get intro. A picture of this. Oh yeah, Ace. You want you want to be in the picture, Ace? No, get away, Ace. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Ace. Get away. <laughs> yeah, get a picture of it so he has a memory. What are we talking about? Well, on the big screen over there. We're going to be uh, checking with our new correspondent, <laughs> uh, Jeff Oske. He's been kind of a critic of the show uh, because we're not covering every aspect of everything, and he's going to help us out with that. But first, Christy Lee is in the Navy Federal Credit Union newsroom. Mr. Pat Godwin on his way to the famous Crackers this week, and we'll be at the uh, he's at the Oxford Gold Performance uh, Studios right now, and then uh, the I Hate Steven Singer dot com sidekick chair occupied by Josh Arnold. Hello. And Ace Cosby is of course the proprietor of the Ace Cosby Omaha Steaks dot com. Joke of the day. This is Tom speaking. There's Chick. Yes, Ace. And you can see what we're laughing at if you go to bobandtom.com forward slash live. That's right. bobandtom.com forward slash live or watch the TV show. It's floating around out there in the ether because we have our new correspondent from uh, a secret studio mm -hmm. somewhere on Earth, apparently, because I do see a map of the Earth and back of them. Uh, would you care to introduce yourself, sir? Uh, yeah, actually, I have a little bit of uh, intro music today. Oh. Time now for <laughs> what you failed to mention news <laughs> with Jeff Oske. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It hey, looks hey, like hey, my hey, high hey, school hey, television. Oh, 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 Jeff Oske. Can you can oh. you play it again? <laughs> and we'll just be quiet. Time now for <laughs> what you failed to mention news <laughs> with me. Oh wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, thank you. Uh, you guys claimed... <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, can we do that again? We should probably do that again. Is this Dick It's Water going to be a... <laughs> oh, God. Uh, you guys claim to be a news journalist. Well, uh, not really. But most of the time, I'm going to be honest, you guys only give half the story, so I'm here uh, to let you guys know what you failed to mention. Uh -huh. Okay, go ahead. You failed to mention news. <laughs> <laughs> One of the largest rabbits on the planet has been stolen. Oh. Police say the giant bunny named Darius, who holds the Guinness World Record for being the world's longest rabbit, mm -hmm. was taken from his home in central England. What you failed to mention, the person who stole Darius says he's looking forward to having four of the world's luckiest keychains very, very soon. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, it applause! Oh, I think the studio audience liked it more than you guys did. <laughs> Macaulay Culkin, who you know from Home Alone, and his girlfriend Brenda Song, who you probably know from, well, being the chick who bangs Macaulay Culkin. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to New Baby this week. They've named Dakota. 
What you failed to mention, when asked if they chose the name Dakota because that's the state the baby was conceived in, Culkin said, no, that's the model of the Dodge truck the baby was conceived in. <laughs> He's got Dodge truck. Oh, I'm sorry. There's more, more, more sound effects. Back in March, you did a story about how the Chicago River was dyed green for St. Patrick's Day. What you failed to mention... This week, New York City will be dyeing its East River green in honor of the legalization of recreational marijuana. Oh. That and to help hide all the bloated, algae-covered corpses floating in the oh. East River. <laughs> the old two-for-one, as Cuomo calls it. <laughs> right. The city of Buffalo's first dog park with a bar will open next month. What you failed to mention is the last thing Buffalonians need is another place to get drunk. <laughs> You're going to have dogs trying to separate their fighting owners. <laughs> Just stick a thumb in us backside, they'll separate. Them. <laughs> Though if you ever do go to a dog bar, I've been to one before, if you're a craft beer person, try the Warsteiner Weiner Rhymer. That sounds you, totally Jeff. legitimate. Yes. <laughs> the company Canna's Canopy Growth, one of Canada's largest weed producers, has just bought its competitor for a record $323 million. What you failed to mention was they paid for the entire $323 million in wrinkled 10s and 20s. <laughs> <laughs> what you also failed to mention was, while the deal was said to be worth $323 million, if anyone like me knows anything about drugs, it looked closer to about $70 million. <laughs> A new study revealed that the year 536 A.D. was the worst year on record for being alive, according to Science Magazine. What you failed to mention, oh really, our vote was for 2021, said Prince Philip and DMX. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And finally, Doritos announced the return of their most popular limited edition variety called Doritos Roulette. Mm. Bags of Doritos Roulette are made up mostly of the nacho cheese flavored chips, but within every handful, snackers will be surprised by a spicy, fiery hot version of the chip. Ah. Uh. What you failed to mention, rival chip company Crunch Ritos has announced the return of their most controversial limited edition variety called the Crunchitos Russian Roulette, <laughs> in which one out of every six <laughs> chips explodes and blows the brains out of the back of your skull. Oh. <laughs> Available in Cheddar Ranch and their newest flavor, Deer Hunter Dill. Oh. <laughs> I've been Jeff Oske. to mention <laughs> the, the clip on time comes off. And the headphones. He's out of here. He's out of here. <laughs> we got we to work on those sound effects. Ah, that literally looks just like my high school television projects. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice newsroom. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Uh, we, was Eddie running the sound effects? I guess. I don't, I don't know. know. I don't, I don't, I don't, <laughs> Eddie's hanging himself now in the storage room. <laughs> Uh, Chick McGee, of course, huh. is across the way at the sports desk. Um, oh, look at this. Stupid world record. Okay, there's no way in hell I want to see this. I want to. I don't want to participate in this. I, right. I don't want to know about it, but now I do. So a pool <laughs> on a Dubai skyscraper has earned the Guinness World Record for being the highest outdoor infinity pool in a building. So it's an above-ground pool. <laughs> Technically, yes. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> oh, my God. Bunch of hillbillies over there. Are you getting mail? Something's dinging. Over there. No, it's, yeah, I've got it on the keyboard. Oh, okay. Are you sure the volume is up? I'm ready to go. Uh, oh, you got a song? Oh. I do. Well, yeah. hey, tell me more about this infinity pool. According to the uh, authorities, the rooftop rooftop pool at the Address Beach Resort is nine. Well, what's the address? I, I knew it. <laughs> 964 feet in the air. The pool surface area approximately 6,025 square feet, giving it the appearance of a massive lake in the sky. Oh, oh neat. And the pool is 13 feet deep at its deepest point. Why this, do you care for this? I, it freaks me out. It creeps yeah, me out. yeah. I this don't thing like the, is... Uh, I don't like the roller coaster on top of the stratosphere. Oh, I don't like any of this either. This thing looks like a football field right at the edge of the skyscraper. 
So if you're in it, it looks like you, you could just fall off into the... Oh, it's yeah. amazing. Yeah. It's very cool. Looking. Creepy. Um, so, yeah, it, it, it just looks beautiful. There are palm trees, even though... And you, again, talk about an above-ground pool. Oh, yeah. yeah. And a little more pee in that pool than the average. Oh, if not turds. Oh. I mean, that's you're going to... What? Not terrible. Turds. And turds. <laughs> and turds. It's just, uh, that's uh, chapter four of my turds. book, If Not Turds. <laughs> it's really based on King Lear, uh, but it takes place in uh. Dubai. It's a contemporary... Uh, 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 Pat, you have a song about the, the, the pool, the world's tallest, whatever it is? We've only mentioned the Beatles once today, so I thought I would do a Beatles tribute. This would oh. be the second reference. What? Uh, referencing <laughs> the Beatles. Beatles. Wow. The Beatles. Here we go. You, you say swim. I say why. There's a pool in the sky, sky, sky. Oh, so high. Where is the pool? It's in Dubai. <laughs> Watch the entire show live or on demand at bobandtom.com or listen live with the Bob and Tom app. And be sure to tune in next time for more Bob and Tom Tonight.